billions of years of evolutionary advancement. All right, here then we, we go. have Cassie. <gasps> He's gone. Take all the keys. Take all the keys. Okay. Oh, I got floor two keys. Okay. Happy day, I'm good! Today we are checking out a short flash game called Providence. This game looked alluring to me because it kind of reminded me of that game where you followed those two girls with entirely different lives and one of them ended up being a severely underprivileged lady of the night, whereas the other one was making cookies with her grandma and the double entendres were very, very disturbing. But just going through a story and trying to figure out what's going on on the way and following different people that have one story, kind of, I just want to play another game like it, so we're gonna check out this game, and let's begin. All right, so I'm out here on my patio. Ooh, seeds. Take some seeds, maybe I'll feed the bird. Let's feed the bird. Come on. He doesn't want to f are you gonna starve your bird? You gonna starve your bird, huh? Why'd you even buy one? This guy seems to be in a very fancy apartment. He's got a nice fancy beard. He's got those nice floor to ceiling windows, those windows that I've always wanted, but. Who can afford that? <laughs> okay, so we are walking, waiting, go inside, sure. It's very dark around all of a sudden. And now I can feed the bird! There you go, little- why are you- why are you shaking your head? No. Here, feed the bird. Record player? You don't want to listen to some records? Is something bothering you? Hmm. Bathroom door. Let's go poop. Go poop, my man. Feed the bird! Feed him! He's jumping up and down, he's so excited! Okay, I think I did it, I did it! Right? Why are you saying no? Feed him! Okay, here. Here you go. There you go, well, you finally did it! Now, it sounds like somebody's at the door. Hello? It's a letter. Okay, let's open her up. Oh, it's a record, yeah! Let's listen to some tunes. What is the meaning of this? Dance, baby. Dance, baby, buh. Oh, now we're going to the new guy. This is a young, hip, cool guy with his flood pants and his Ugg boots, I suppose. Whoa, he's running. He's in a rush. Okay. Let's open up the closet. Let's get what's in here quick. Run. I've got so many closets. Wow. I'm really making the most of my attic here. There are spider webs on the top, but who can really clean up that high? Not me. So I can't interact with anything up here, so I'm gonna go downstairs. Run, my man! Okay, this guy lives in a pretty big house, and it's pretty nice. Oh, he's a kid! I thought he was a big boy. Hi, mommy! Not now! Can't you see I'm busy? Sorry, mommy. Wow, mom, what does your hubby do? What'd you do to get this set up? This is pretty nice. Whose flap did you jack? The pancake? Oh, I get it. Okay, let's go. Oh, <gasps> daddy! Hi, daddy! Are your folks home? Oh, you're not my dad. Ew. Oh. So this mysterious man just asked if somebody's home. I can either say yes, no, or stay silent. Now, did your parents ever tell you, like, when they're gone, don't answer the door or the phone? Or if somebody... You should always say your parents are home, right? Otherwise, he might take advantage. Yes. Yeah, my mom's home. That's good. To be honest, I don't really need him. What? What do you mean? I just need someone to hold on to something for me. It's nothing big, just something that's dear to me. Well, who are you and why do I owe you anything? Do you want to help me with that? It'll be our little secret. No one else needs to know. I don't know. Mom! Okay, I just pause for a sec. I don't want my actual mom to be like, what? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm gonna stay silent and let him talk more. That's a yes if I ever saw one. I knew just looking at you that you'd understand. There's nothing suspicious about helping a fellow human out. Um, this is very suspicious. It's really nothing important anyway. Just a small box. The thing is though, I need to know that no one sees its contents. What? This is very important. What do you mean it's very important? You get me? I don't know, I- It's very important. Do we got ourselves a deal? I- What do you say, champ? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I mean, the responsible person in me wants to say absolutely not, but at the same time, I'm very curious as to what is happening in this box and what it has to do with the old man and his record player. I don't want to be smuggling drugs for this guy. What if he's got like a grenade in there? I want to say no, but then if I say no, then I'm gonna be like, what's in there? I'm gonna stay silent again and see what else he says. I like you, champ. You know, we're pretty alike. Oh no, are you gonna ask me to come into your van? I've always been reserved myself, so... We're mysterious types, you and I. We're... we're like two peas in a- What? He just gave it to me. Trust me when I say you won't regret this. Look me in the eyes when I talk to you! Sorry, champ. Ha, <laughs> had a long day. That's a very mysterious man. Mommy! Mommy! Should I let my mommy see the box? I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna run as fast as I can. 
I can run because I'm a kid. I'm so fit. I'm gonna put the box there. <gasps> I'm keeping a little secret. Oh, my mom just said, get down here. What's going on, Mamma Me? This is my first secret. I feel like such a bad boy. Hey, Mamma Me. What's up? Did you remember to wash your hands? I'm like lying to my mom and not not brave enough to lie to a stranger. That's kind of sad. Bon, go find a place at the table, honey. So Bon is good, right? Are you French? Okay, here we go. I want to find out what happened with that box. So we are in Horizon Station now. I guess we're meeting the third and final candidate. And how all these three tie together. It's very interesting case. We've got an adult, an older man, we've got a young child, and now we've got a strapping young lad, a wonderfully dressed man, and a tux and a nice little fedora. Let's look in the trash. There you go. He just put something in, in his coat pocket. And now I can't do anything. This is so mysterious. What is he? He looks like a hitman, actually. Is he gonna go kill somebody? What's he doing? Oh, did I miss my ride? <laughs> okay. We got this guy here. Newspaper. Hello, young sir. <gasps> it's a gun! Am I supposed to shoot him? Is it the only thing I can do? What if I refuse? Maybe I can just hide behind this pole? You can't see me! How long are you gonna read that? And then he's saying, no, no more trash. I got the gun I wanted. Now let's go kill this guy. What's in the paper today? The weather? You like the weather, huh? Nice? Here we go. I'm sorry! What are you doing?! Why are you pointing that thing at me? I'm so scared! So do I stay silent? Do I aim for his head? Do I look at the station sign? Do I look down the tunnel? Looking at the station sign or looking down the tunnel, both of those things will get me killed. Because I'll, I'll be distracted, so... Maybe I should aim for his head? Yeah, let's make sure. What did I ever do to you? Please don't! Please, listen to reason. We can work this out. Oh. I don't know, why are you saying that? I'm gonna stay silent a little longer. Actually, it's kind of rude that I'm staying silent, I'm kind of torturing him. I have three kids and a wife! My youngest is only five months old, please! If not for me, for them! Oh no, I feel so bad. He's begging me! Ah. Okay, so my little guy did a bad thing, so my guy here is gonna do a good thing. But then what if I go to jail? I've committed, I've taken the gun out, I've pointed at his head. Hard <laughs> hey, I'm a little live. I'm feeling charitable today. Thank you so much. I can't. I promise I'll stay underground. What do you mean? You won't ever see me again. What did you do? Is this some sort of drug dealer? I just let a dangerous man live. But he was begging me. <laughs> what if he doesn't have three kids in a while? Uh. All right. Hello, I didn't do the job I was supposed to do. Please don't be mad. There you are. I heard about the mission. It was a great success, yes? Say, I've been dying to know. When did you shoot him? In front of a full train? I'm gonna nod my head. No, I'm gonna shake my head. I don't know. <laughs> the lies. Okay, I can't nod because then they're gonna be like, there were witnesses, kill him. So I'm just gonna shake my head. I'm shaking my head, no. Well, how did you do it then? Tell me all the gory details. No? You won't? Well, I guess it's best to leave something to the imagination. I bet you enjoyed it, though. And don't worry about his fate. What he got was coming to him. What do you mean? Can you please elaborate? I assure you. That's not enough. I'm gonna look at the view. It's pretty neat, isn't it? This is quite the place. You know, he owns everything you can see, even the sea. In fact, he owns everything he points his finger at. Who? He's not taking visitors today, unfortunately. Don't worry, you'll get another chance to meet him. What? Who? I would- what? With your success, I'm sure we'll work together very soon. Better get used to this cold mountain air. <sighs> ah! Thanks for doing my dirty work. Okay, alright. So I'm just taking a shower here, my bird is fed. Why did this guy give me a record? Oh, I'm- I'm coming! Let's open the door. Who is it? It's another thing? I guess I'll open it up. Another record? Can't you get a little creative? Alright, let's listen to it. Ah, uh, soothing. Uh, I could have some wine and cheese to this music. What's going on now? My little boy's in a barn! I love going out to the country! I hope that my little box in my room is okay. Who's this? Hi, son. I'm a little busy right now. This tree is giving me a real headache. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, you're a lot nicer than mom, though, so I'd rather you talk to me. All right, let's go this way. Oh, the tree. I can give you a headache, Mr. Tree. It's a big old tree. Are you trying to cut it down, father? A rake isn't gonna do, father. Hi, mommy. Not now! Can't you see I'm playing the piano? Sorry, mom. Jesus. Someone's at the door! Don't you know I shouldn't be answering? 
Be a darling and see who it is for me. Don't you know that your little son shouldn't answer the door? Because then I might accept packages. Hi there, little fella. Remember me? I do, but I must stay silent. Don't fool around, champ. This is serious stuff. Say, you remember our little secret? It's kind of funny because before he liked my silence and now he's pissed. You still have it, right? Mmm, let me stay silent again. Oh, he's changing. I like you, kid. You've got bones in that spiked little nose of yours. But if this goes on, you're just wasting my time. You don't want to do that, do you? Suppose you go and fetch it for me? That would make me really happy. Eh. And you want to fulfill your part of the deal, right? What do I get out of this? No! Quit kidding around! I'll wait for you a couple of minutes, and if you don't have the box here, then I'm talking to your parents. And we don't want them to know our little secret, right? It's just yours and mine. Get going! Uh... Mommy! Mommy! Mommy, why won't you talk to me? It's really important. Okay, Mommy. These decisions are a result of your parenting, Mommy. Here we go. Taking the box. Let's see what's going on. I really want to know how all this stuff connects. I'm really excited. I hate you, Mom. Let's go. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, wait. I should have showed it to my mom before I went out. I knew I could count on you, champ. I guess this makes us partners in crime, huh? Uh, so long, kid. You did good. I feel so used. Mommy, I got used for the first time. Okay, okay. I'll get started on dinner. I'll just heat up some leftovers, because that's all you're worth. Please go out and get your father, and I'll set the table. Fine! Didn't you see a strange man come to the door and offer me a package? Is it dinner time already? Okay, I'll be right inside. Say, son, who was that man you were talking with? Why didn't you come and ask? Do you know him? No, I don't. Be careful, son. You can't trust anyone these days. Where were you? You certainly can't trust strangers. If he comes again, let me know. I knew you'd understand. You're a good kid. Get inside before your mother gets angry. You know how mother gets. She, whew. She's a tough cookie. That's why I married her. All right, we got the hitman here. What is the hitman doing? Who do we all work for? Who's the person who owns all of this stuff? Hello, fellas. Why, speak of the devil, here he is. The genius behind the Motel Massacre. Come on, man, share some of the details with us. Look at the man in the gray suit, look at the man in the green suit. Which one of you is more important? Look inside the villa, look at the view, or stay silent. Ooh, I do I, boy. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna look at the man in the green. Here we go. Oh, shit. What do you think you're looking at? Calm down, you don't want to mess with my guys. He doesn't need a reason to slaughter ya. He's a cold cat. He'll kill anyone for a dime. Okay, I'll look at the man in the gray suit. Why, well, take a look at this guy. He's cold as ice. Is he some kind of mute? Nah, he's just not that talkative. I guess he doesn't need to, considering how good at his job he is. I'm gonna look inside the villa then. Sorry, man, he's not feeling very well today either. I'm sure you'll get a chance to see him later. Uh, but I've... Anyway, did you blow the prick's brains out at the motel or what'd you do? You did, didn't ya? Yeah, you did. I'm just gonna nod. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 this guy's a total freak, man! Come on, tell us all about it. Why are these guys so sadistic? <gasps> oh, I, I must be recounting the story. Hello, sir! What the hell are you staring at? <laughs> Don't be mean. I swear, I'm packing heat out here. Oh, let's go inside. Hey, sir. Hey, bartender. Can I help you? I'm gonna look at the keys that are jingling. I'm afraid we're all out of rooms. I know what you're thinking. You wouldn't think it by judging the look of the place. All the rooms got sold out weeks ago, but only two guests have checked in. Well, I guess I'll look at the liquor. In the mood for a drink? Sorry, we're all out. Those are the only bottles we have left. Okay, what's going on here? And we need them for show. Should I shoot the bartender? I don't know. The keys. Excuse me, sir. Keys are for registered guests. Hmm. So I have to kill you, take a key, and go up here. All right. We're going to the first floor. If we can. Ah. What a lovely hope. Okay, I thought it was just closing on me again, and I was like, what? Okay, shall we? Anyone in there? Hmm? Motel phone? Welcome to the motel service line. Press 1 for reception. Press 2 for continental breakfast delivered to your room. Ooh, I could go for some of that. Press 3 for towels delivered to your room, nice and fresh. Press 4 to hear the options again. I'd like a continental breakfast, please. One continental breakfast. I'll prepare it for you immediately. Thank you. Remember, it's going on your tab. Well, lucky for me, this isn't my room, so... I'm desperately awaiting that continental bre- I'm gonna order everything. We have a lot to do at the moment. Try again later. Oh, where's my breakfast? Let's go to floor two. Maybe my breakfast will be here by the time I get back. <laughs> Who's this guy? Hey, you can't smoke in here. I'm about to eat breakfast in here. Get lost, pal. This room is off limits.
I can't pull my gun, so you win this round, random asshole. Going to floor three. Hopefully I have enough bullets, because there's a lot of people here. And the only person who's not getting shot is the person bringing me my continental breakfast. Hopefully it's made just right. Hopefully the eggs aren't overcooked. Hello, I'd like to come in, please. Hello? <laughs> no one's here? Alright, it looks like I gotta go get some keys. I'm gonna go get some keys, and we're gonna- we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Now. Scum ring! That sounds like a fun- what is this, a party? Or a missing guy? Have you seen scum ring? Alright, here we go. <gasps> He's gone! Take all the keys! Take all the keys! Okay. Oh, I got floor two keys? Okay. Okay, so I have a key to 3A. I just pressed two because I wanted to take the key out, so I'm going to floor two right now. Sorry! Didn't mean to come back! Going to floor three. Bye! Enjoy your cigarette! Oh! I just realized that the person making my breakfast has got to be the person who's working at the front and he's not there because he's making my breakfast and they were overloaded and couldn't deliver- And they were overloaded and couldn't take a second order because he's the only guy who works here? This place is pretty open for the pickings here. I'm gonna open up. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Please try again later. Oh, no. No! You can't just hang up on me. Oh, I'm gonna go inside. What do we got here? Ooh, fire ladder. Let's go. Oh, I'm able to sneak in! We're in, baby! Let's go! Smallest motel room I Smallest motel room ever? Like, couldn't you afford a penthouse? Let's go. You don't want to talk to the man? Okay, let's pull a gun on him! Woo! Stay silent. Look at the picture on the wall, look at the balcony door, or kill him. Now, if I don't kill him immediately, I let that one guy go, but if I don't kill this guy immediately, then this goon at the front door here with the cigarette is gonna come in and waste me. So, I'm gonna stay silent once just because I want to hear what he has to say. What are you doing here? How did you get in here? I'm gonna cock my gun. Uh. If you do this, your life will end as you know- If you do this, your life will end as you know it will! Listen, I'll make you a very rich man. In fact, I'll double whatever they are paying for you, please, whoever they are. Friends know me as a very- Friends know me as a very generous man. You could even come work for me. I don't believe you. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do I want to work for the sadistic assholes who are at that place and were like, Did you kill him? Did you wreck him? Or do I want to work for this guy? Possibly and possibly get killed. Um, okay, let's just weigh the pros and cons here. The first guy said, I have a family, I've got all this, I've got all that. This guy is just purely appealing to my greed, and I just don't trust him. I just don't trust him. I don't trust the goon at the door, that's for sure. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I don't want to press it, I feel bad. Look at him in his nice little suit with his hands up and his little balding head. So cute. Oh, I don't know what to do. Wish I had my continental breakfast. I need to, you know, eat before making a decision like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him. It has to happen. No, it doesn't. I'm letting him live. No, I'm gonna get killed if I do. Kill him. Okay. He's dead. We're back with the kid now. <laughs> My little box is gone too, and I've got a little red ball. I'm just so cute. Let's go downstairs. What's going on down here? Wait, why is there death music? Why is there dun 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 Oh shit, I'm, I didn't mean to use the sink. I meant to open it. <gasps> what? Why? Whoa! Whoa! Why? This tree's driving you crazy still. Hey there, Dad! That's so sad! Why? I mean, my mom was rude, but- ah! Hey there, champ. What are you doing out of bed at this hour? I'm gonna look at his face! Damn it! I forgot to bring you something for the favor with the box! What do you- You killed my parents! You've been so helpful, though. You saved me a lot of trouble, you know. I'm gonna look at my parents and hopefully be given the same compliment that I gave the guy with the family earlier. Your parents were ill, you know. They didn't want you to get infected. What? They sent me to protect you. I'll protect you. I promise. Should I look at his face or should I close my eyes? I'm gonna look at his face! Listen, champ. 
I think it's best for both of us to keep this a secret. Talking just causes problems. Okay, he seems to be contemplating. We don't want the world to know about your parents, right? Better to put everything behind us. Okay, so he's trying to bargain with me because me looking in his eyes is causing him to have an emotional response. The pain will go away. You're better off alone anyway. I guess this is goodbye, kid. Have a great life. Huh? He didn't kill me. What's going on? Who's this? I guess I can go in the entrance now, wow. <laughs> really eventful in there, all right. Oh, I figure <laughs> you can probably go the other way too. Okay, let's go check. Here we go, up the stairs. I'm gonna go see what's going on. What is this? Viewing binoculars? Okay. I finally get to check out the view. Who's that? <gasps> That's the guy from the first one. What are you doing? I turn off the safety or look at him. I'm gonna look at him because I just don't know. But why is there another dead guy over there? Who is this guy? Why was I gonna look through binoculars if everyone's dead? What's wrong with you? Why are you even here? Who let you in? Am I supposed to know who you are or what's going on here? Wait a minute. I've seen you somewhere before, but you're different somehow, aren't you? I'm gonna do nothing. I've, do I've done too much killing today. Where have I seen you before? Wait. You gotta be kidding me. You're the kid. The little kid from the farm. You are, aren't you? What the hell are you doing here? Well, I I've had a tough life. It's been years though, decades. Is this some kind of a revenge thing? The guy with the box is now this old guy. He just called me champ. Bet you wanna know why I spared you. First, I especially don't like killing children. And I only do it if I have to. Oh, I'm getting really old now. Second, I think I saw something of myself in you. I guess I still do now. The tables are turned, aren't they? This guy k killed my parents. He's an old man now. If I kill him, his bird's gonna die. <laughs> and also, I he let, he spared me, but he killed my parents. I'm like Harry Potter right now. Holding up my wand. Do I kill Voldemort or what's going on? I don't know, I kinda wanna just let him live. I've killed like a lot of people already. I killed one person already. That, that already feels like too much. He manipulated me. He tried to tell me my parents were ill, but he seems so harmless now. I mean, we saw his apartment. This is weird how this game kind of like gives you a bit of the background. So like you've seen his apartment, you've seen his bird, you've seen how he stands there, you've seen him listen to records. I'm gonna let him live. Just cause I wanna see what happens. Where am I going? Oh, I'm still a fast little runner, aren't I? Oh. Am I the one who keeps leaving him boxes? Okay, let's turn on the lamp. Get a little light in here. Let's close the bathroom door. It's getting a little lonely in here. You don't want to listen to record? Where's my bird? No record? Nothing? Oh. Let's turn off the fan. <laughs> oh, this is weird. This has got my face on it. It's got an X on it. Did someone leave this here? I'm enjoying the view right now. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. My bird went. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> okay, I've gotten I've got one last chance. It's in quotes, so I'm the old man. And I'm about to say do it or don't do it. I'm gonna you know what? Everyone was bargaining, everyone was like, no, please don't, please God, no. But this guy, he has a chance to admit fault and be like, do it. I deserve this. I killed your parents, bruh. I can't even take care of a bed. Or <laughs> a bird. And a bed. I can't take care of anything. Do it. Shoot me. I deserve it. Do it. Do it. Do it, damn it. Come on, why does it keep giving me the option? Do it. Come on, what are you, little pussy? Huh? Do it. Come on. He's gonna shoot me when I say don't do it, isn't he? Come on. I killed your mom. She touched my leg. Do it. Don't do it. Well, at least he got his comeuppance. And maybe I said don't do it because I willingly wanted him to do it, but I said what he wanted to hear. So now maybe we're both at peace, hopefully? I thought this was a very interesting game though. The story was actually very emotionally charged. Like while I was playing, I was like, oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. If you did, please give it one of these and make sure you subscribe. Give that gloomy subscribe button a bit of a pick me up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.